master's crib and, and the ass is a donkey. That's another dumb animal. What's going on, my brother? How y'all doing? What's, what's your name, bro? Bobby A. I'm Zephaniah. Good to meet you. What's your name? Bruce. Hey, good to meet you, man. I'm Zephaniah. What we out here doing, we out here showing that the blacks and Hispanics and the Native Americans are the children of Israel. Have y'all heard of the Israelites? No doubt about it. So do y'all know y'all Israel? No, I don't. No, you don't? Okay. Y'all came to the right place. Okay, y'all came to the right place. What we out here doing is we out here to give our people their God-given nationality back. Because it's been stripped from us. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Your nationality has been stripped from you. You are no longer called the Israelites no more. Why? Because it's the people over in Israel claiming to be you. They claiming to be you. Why? Because they want the promises that God gave to us. Only reason why we at the bottom of society today is because we broke the commandments. We didn't listen. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine inheritance. So the Bible says we will be discontinued from our heritage. What does discontinue? We're going to be cut off. It's going to be stopped. Read. That I gave you, that God gave us, we was discontinued from our heritage. How did that come about? Psalms 83. Give me Psalms 83. We're going to show our people how that came about. How we got discontinued from our heritage. Because if you look around, if you ask our people what's their nationality, they're going to say black. They're going to say African American. You're going to get some people that's going to call themselves a religion. They're going to say I'm Baptist. But can I go to the land of Baptist? Can I, can I go to the land of Pentecostal? That shows we have been destroyed as a people. Read what you got. Chapter uh, one. Yep. 83 and start at verse, start at verse one. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse one. Uh -huh. Keep not thou silence, O God. Uh -huh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. Okay. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. So the Bible is saying thy enemies make a tumult. Meaning a tumult is a a gathering, like a harsh conference gathering type of thing. It says thy enemy. The people outside this sign are God's enemies. These are God's people. So that's showing God has enemies. The so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, we have enemies. That's right. That's what the Bible is saying. Read on. And they that hate thee, oh, it said they that hate thee. So God is saying, there's some people outside of these people that hate you, that hate you. And it's not hard to see, because some of them don't hide it. Some of them don't hide it. It's not hard to see. That, I believe you're going to get it. No, with you. I believe you. I'm going to read up on what you gave. Okay. And I'm going to say that now. All right, hey, put, where y'all go? Let me, let me get a script. You know what? Stuff. Read what you got. To, to keep it whole. Right. So, Bill, we know it says six days you shall work, and on the Sabbath day you should you should rest. Don't do don't do no work in there, right? That's not the only thing we should do on the Sabbath day. It's other things that we do to keep the Sabbath day. Now, as we hear these things, we take it in consideration. We go back and study it, and then we start applying it. Because what good is it if you get the knowledge and you just walk away and continue to do? Free. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land bring ware of any victuals on the Sabbath day uh -huh. to sell. If they bring any merchandise on the Sabbath day to sell, because we see that going on, read. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath day. It says that we would not buy of it on the Sabbath day. What is that talking about? We're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath day. 